What up YouTube? This video was taken on this Wednesday afternoon, May 7th, 2014. Time right now is 7.08 p.m. And I thought I would show you a little update on my uh, animatronic show controller. Since the last video, what I did was on the programmer part, I added the EEPROM, then I added the ability to program two servo channels, uh, one at a time. It stores it to the EEPROM, and it can play back that show. So once you get your show built up by programming each servo channel, you then uh, connect the output to the computer and you have to record the data stream coming from the microcontroller. Once you record the data stream, you can put it to your iPod or MP3 player, and then you have the full, you can uh, just play it like a regular song off your iPod, but it'll play the show data. And then uh, I have another song, the same song from, here's the other song. This is the same song from last time, but I programmed it with both servos. And like I said in the last video, the cool part about it is you have the full controls of the iPod. You don't have to worry about it getting out of sync because the iPod is actually streaming the data. Okay, that was a glitch. There is a glitch every now and again, and I think it's in the uh, microprocessor picking up the data. I don't know if it gets the data confused. I'll have to work on that. So, like I said, this is pretty much as good as it gets because you can use, you can freely skip in between songs without having to reprogram it or switch out EEPROMs. And you can fast forward, you can use the, once you have several songs programmed, you can use the shuffle of the iPod. 
because all the data is coming straight from the iPod. So my next step would be to uh, go and uh, make this so it will work on my uh, three axis skull I have. So that's probably going to be the next step. But there is a couple of glitches, but for the most part it's working pretty smoothly. See ya.